Okay, so I, I, I want, wanted to, to, I'm trying to make some different approach to our videos now, okay? Because mm. people, people have liked you in that there. And, um, um, you know, the, the, at the end of the day, you're 68, aren't you? Yeah. How old are you, 68? 68. 69 in December. 69 December. So, so you've lived, lived a long life, really, right? Yep. Right. Long, the, mm. You know, the, the age of the average homeless person is 51 they live to. Did you know that? 51. Oh, that's good to research that. <laughs> yes. Just as well, it's I'm famous. not homeless. <laughs> Just as well, I got a house. That's right. But the interesting thing is, I, I wanted to, to get some, some of these videos where we can talk about some, some interesting things and try and share some of this wisdom with the, uh, the audience there. Well, I've been guiding, I've been giving this guy advice in England and he, he, you know, this gentleman pays me some little bit of money and we look at his situation. And what we do with him, uh, to start off <laughs> with, we look at, you know, what his income is and we look at his balance sheet. What's he got? Assets and liabilities. And see what he's got. And then yeah. um, we're going to do it every three months, but for, for a while we just do it every, every month, for a couple of months, and now it's every three months. Uh, probably. Are things improving with him? Yeah, yeah. He's, 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 um, he's done a few things. He's, um, see, he was doing silly things, like in his income-wise, uh, uh, from that perspective, yeah. he was doing um, a lot of things for free. He was doing free this and helping here and doing that and that. You know, like so, so, so what did you do? So he came to you and said, hey, I want some help getting yeah. my finances. He wants some financial advice. That's what he said yeah. to you, isn't it? He wanted to uh, help him... Get ahead. Uh, get ahead. He, he the, he, so we looked at his income first of all, and I said to him, "You're doing a lot of silly things, like working, you know, uh, being in all these organisations and not getting any money." Yeah. Um, I said, "It's all right being one or two, but not five or six. Sure. So get rid of half of them." And and then um, and also then you know I told him how he can advance. Did you, did the you work. get him to do a budget? Did he do a budget or? Well, he's got a sort of sort of a budget. He's got you know yes. Yeah, but okay. um, he, well, he's really um, instead of a budget, he's he, he's got uh, commitments and. Um, he yeah. said he had a lot of money on the house. He had quite he invested quite a bit into a. He bought a house, but not a, like a normal house. Say, um, an average house, there might be two hundred pounds, and he paid something like three hundred fifty thousand pounds. Now that you would approve of that because you'd say that's a good and good yeah, property I, well, investment. Well, in one sense, it's it's a problem because it's it's a big Payments debt. Are high, yeah. But on the other hand, uh, he's got three fifty growing, not two hundred fifty growing. Yeah. So um, that's not bad. And now he's now he's he's pushed the income up. He's got promotion, and uh, he was going to get another job, but then the boss off, um, offered him a promotion, so he's got extra money there. And yeah. has um, he got we, that wife to work? His wife works part time. Okay. She's got they got a few kids or something, um, but what we do we look at his position every say six months and say what's his assets mm -hmm. and what's his liabilities and we're seeing how the assets are going up and the liabilities hopefully not increasing and when he got a promotion at work we'll just make sure that he does his wife doesn't spend it all. He's got a bank half you know he can spend half but the other half yeah you know, if you get a promotion. Um, yeah. The tendency is the wife said, "Ah, oh, fantastic! Now I can buy extra." No, no, hold it. Let's pretend we didn't get the promotion. So yeah. let's let's have a little bit extra and the other mm -hmm. bit into savings. So tell me this: you're helping him, you're changing yeah. his life. He's very happy with where he's going. And he's so how much do you charge for this? And, and and can more people come to you for? Would you do more? Yeah, do you have time to do more. Well, he pays twenty-five pounds uh, each time. So say every three months, say twenty. Well, it's only hundred pounds a year. Um, you know, it's very, very cheap, really. You know, bearing yeah. in mind the thought and the time that goes into it. And yeah. I just did it as a, you know, it's a, a bit of a hobby for you. It was as a, a bit of interest, and uh, I like helping people, and that this is something that you. Can but you, help. you, you like helping people, but you want a little bit of a kick. Yeah, to yeah, you too. It's yeah. not just help uh, you for free. And I mean, if I want to do it for free, I join the Salvation Army. Mm -hmm. And uh, but I think. Um, and then they don't probably do it for free either. Um, yeah. I think that uh, you know, you, if you give uh, well, if if you give professional advice and and, and help them, uh, you, surely they can pay something for it. And if they don't want to, yeah. well, well, they can wallow. You know, they can just uh, sink, I suppose. Um, and this guy is 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 really 
uh, just everything he does, you know, is falling for the old traps that I well, perhaps would have fallen through. And um, yeah. uh, so I'm telling you how to keep his job, how to keep people on side, how to... Uh, oh, so it's not just financial advice, it's also life advice. Life advice, yeah. You're like a... You're like a life coach. Life coach, yeah. yeah. Life coach. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. it is. It's not just financial. No. It's no. his relationships and that there. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I'm, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't give people advice to go to a church or not go to a church or whatever. But no. but I would say, if, if you know, even if, if you ask that question, I'd say, well, go to church, but make sure you don't give all your money away. No. Because those guys will, will bleed, bleed you dry. You dry. And, um, yeah, and so anyway, he's, he's, he's very happy and uh, that's working well. And if you had more people wanting that type of advice, but this is, really, this, is, this, is, this is not a joke, this is serious stuff and it's serious advice and with a serious attempt to make uh, a, a improvement in a person's life. It, it's not sort of just a ha-ha, it, it's a no. very professional advice and uh, given yeah, it at a no, very no, personal I, level. I understand. So, um, yeah. so, so if someone's interested, I'll, I'll put your email address in the yeah. description. Yeah, and, and, and uh, they can contact you direct. Yeah, and okay. Uh, well, then let's get the. I don't even. I don't even. I'm not going to even get involved. They can contact you direct. Then, and um, you yeah. might get some weirdos, but I get a lot of fucking weirdos. Yeah. But I'm just saying to you, we'll put your address in the description below. Yeah, well, and, and they can email you. And, and, and but the thing is. Make sure they give you some money before you start giving advice yeah. to them, because you yeah. know you've got a PayPal account. Yeah. So PayPal, PayPal, or in, into the a bank account in the UK or Australia, or whatever. Okay. Um, MJPLUTA48 at gmail dot com. I'll put uh, that in the description. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And um, but it, it's really um, you you won't get that advice anywhere else at that price, and I'm only doing it as a favour to to your. <coughs> Clients and and you know because I've always been interested in that area. And sure, I like no, the fans like you. Mm. The fans like you a lot there. They, so they, I've had a lot of good comments there. So we, we try to make sure that they're successful too. And um, because, yeah, no, you know, no, 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 that's, that's that's cool. They look, look, look. This video go up. I'm sure we'll get a few. So what countries can, can can you you do this for? Any countries in the world? Yes, um, with limit with reservations, I suppose. I know what the English market is. I know Australian market, uh, America. You know, the person have to tell me um, a little bit about what the market's doing. For instance, in certain American cities, um, it's like some Australian cities that the, the industry is dead and and um, mm. it's pretty difficult. Mm. Um, uh, you know, but but then even those difficult situations, like I, I give you an example. There's one of our clients here. He bought a house for five hundred thousand. Beautiful house. Now this house, if you're a pensioner, you could go to this town and live in royalty comfort. Buy a house that's worth five hundred thousand. You could buy it for two hundred and thirty thousand. Mm -hmm. Right, it's an emerald, which is it's a mining town where the, the mines have, have slowed down their activity. And uh, so, but at the moment, if you were, if you were a pensioner, had uh, you know, you could go there, live. But who wants to live in bloody Emerald? That's, that's, it, it's that's, a it's a pretty nice city. Yeah, but it's a long way from Brisbane. Well, um, what would you do in Brisbane? Now, a pensioner would go to the bowls club. He'll go to you know to, to the Arisol club. You might have family in Brisbane. Um, <laughs> well, they can come up to Emerald, can't they? It's um, expensive. You know what the tickets up to Emerald is? And catch a bus. No, I've been to Emerald. I've flown out a few times to Emerald, mm. uh, but um, yes, it's a long way out. But you know, if if if, if you're a pensioner and live there, mm. the, the cost is relatively um, not that high. They, they've got doctors. They've got uh, uh, well, they've got limited facilities. It's a big town, Emerald, but uh, they've got limited facilities. It's not like Brisbane where you got everything, you know. Um, but uh, at the same time, it's very cheap to live in in comfort, in much comfort, a, a, and the people are much, very friendly. They they help and you and you can join little clubs and activities. So, so what's happened in Emerald? Tell me the story about Emerald. Well, um, Emerald's a base town. It's a big town, and around Emerald, there's all these mines that were digging for mm. minerals, coal, uh, yeah. coal, uh, coal, and coal. Yes, coal and other minerals, and well, the activities slow down. Yeah. So the mine, the mines have just closed down or uh, re reduced their workforce. Well, that yeah. means the, the two hundred houses which were built for for that workforce yes. is not required. So people that bought them um, can't rent them, can't sell them. 
and that's uh, but they really they worth a lot of money um, in good times now it, if if you had limited money would you go there yeah I, I'd certainly have a look I, I look there and probably a few other places you know somebody was saying um, you're not going to get much in Brisbane for two hundred thousand no. dollars. Somebody you? was saying, like, uh, I don't even know. Uh, I've not been to Collins, but Collinsville, where the hell Collinsville is, uh, that's a town, an ex mining town, mm -hmm. and you can get a house there for forty thousand dollars, which was something like three or four hundred thousand before. Yeah. And um, now, all right, um, but you know, what's forty thousand? And if uh, if the people are really nice, um, mm. you got a little club, a little thing, you have a little circle of friends. Uh, but it could become like a Detroit. You can buy houses in America well, for a thousand dollars. Yeah, 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 exactly. And um, yeah. no, well, well, no yes. infrastructure, no jobs. You've got drug problems. You've got vandals. You know how bad it gets in America. They, they, if the house is left unattended, they come and steal all the copper tubes, all the piping in that there. You know, you know they. Yeah, they, I, th I think it's never been as bad in that in Australia because I know that. Uh, in Emerald before, mm. uh, people just left the houses open. That was quite common, but that was 20, 30 years ago. Uh, people in the country... 40 years ago. Yeah, 40 years ago. P people never locked their houses. Yeah. They just left them open. And people, n nobody would go in. If people come in, knock on the door, say, hello, hello, are you there? Nobody there? They're off they go. They, they wouldn't come in and, and, and take the TV set. Yeah. Uh, and anyway, see what the trouble is too, if they did, well, to escape with that TV set, the police would catch you on. There's only one road in and out of Emerald. <laughs> the police be waiting for you about, you know, uh, four hours away and, and you, you, you're you gone. Yeah. So uh, the, the, no, there's think... limited places you can escape to. No worries there. Emerald, if you're on, down yeah. on your luck and you've got 200,000. Yeah. 